From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Weather holding up for the Horseheads High School graduation. Want to congratulate all the seniors and all the 2023 grads all across the Twin Tiers. A job well done. Now, as far as our weather is concerned today, not a bad day at all. We had a mixture of sun and clouds. You can even see some patches of blue here off the sky cam, but the clouds will tend to lower and thicken as we go through the overnight period, and that will eventually give way to increasing chances for showers and thunderstorms across the twin tiers, but not seeing anything on our radar imagery just yet. Just a satellite imagery showing some passing clouds. The closest rainfall now over southern areas of Pennsylvania. This associated with a very large storm system that's pretty much been stalled out over the uh, Tennessee mid Atlantic regions here over the last several days, but eventually it lifts up to the north over the course of the weekend, increasing our chances for showers and thunderstorms. Now, right now, most are still in the 70s, still 80 though in Corning and in Dansville. It's 78 in Westfield, 75 the current temperature in Tawanda under fair skies. So still under the influence of high pressure just off the New England coast. But what's going to happen here tomorrow? Uh, low pressure system to our south will start to move closer to our region. We're going to have a persistent easterly flow, so thicker cloud cover, spotty showers, and that easterly wind flow will tend to hold temperatures down tomorrow, only in the 60s to around 70 for a high. But as the storm system moves closer, more of a southerly wind flow will push into our region. That will increase our temperatures yet again and also increase our humidity increase our chances for showers and thunderstorms as well. All right, let's take a look at our planner now for tomorrow. Thursday, scattered showers possible in the morning, and then just overcast conditions during the afternoon. Temperatures cooler than recent days with highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. It looks like the rainfall tomorrow will tend to be spotty in nature. Most areas looking at less than a tenth of an inch of rain. And then as we go into our Friday, the humidity comes up in a big way. The temperatures will also be on the rise, but notice it's not a washout, but the threat for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms will be there. Now, in terms of humidity levels and our dew points for tomorrow, they'll tend to be in the 50s. So that's technically in the pleasant range, even though we're going to have some spotty showers around. Uh, dew points in the 50s, not all that oppressive, but it's going to start to come up here as early as Friday. And look, we're even seeing some oranges showing up on the map here, which would indicate dew points in the 70s, downright tropical. I think we're in the 60s locally, but still, it'll be on the uncomfortable range with the humidity. Combine that with temperatures in the 80s, it'll feel a bit oppressive. Rainfall amounts less than a tenth of an inch here for tomorrow, but look what happens as we go over the weekend. A better chance for showers and thunderstorms in some areas had the potential this weekend of picking up over an inch of rain. All right, our five degree guarantee for today played out like this. We forecast a high temperature of 82, our unofficial high 79. Tonight, 53 for a low with partly cloudy skies. More clouds around tomorrow. Couple showers can't be ruled out. 71, our five degree guarantee. 70% chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday and Saturday. 60% chance on Sunday. Temperatures over the weekend in the lower 80s. A separate storm system moving in from the west will keep the chances for showers and thunderstorms around into early next week.